a hospital that's open to our community for 911 calls, for emergent patients. Less than a year after nearly closing its doors for good, the old Mercy Hospital in Chicago's Bronzeville neighborhood is back in business in a big way. A ceremony today to mark the return of ambulance service to the hospital's emergency room. Dane Placco reports it's one more step in bringing the old hospital back to life. A ribbon cutting ceremony today as one of Chicago's oldest hospitals is officially off life support. I saw an ambulance coming to the parking lot and I got excited. I mean, I was hoping, I knew they were going to get great care here. For the first time in years, the old Mercy Emergency Room is taking ambulances, dozens a day, which takes stress off other hospitals and drastically cuts response time for local residents in crisis. Minutes matter when it comes to the brain, the heart, uh, the body. So really uh, opening back up allows us to be able to care in that moment for those patients. Mercy was Chicago's first chartered hospital when it opened in 1852, but it was losing millions of dollars when its owners tried to close it in 2020, which prompted big protests right here in the parking lot. We know the fight continues. Because of that outcry, the state refused to allow Mercy to shut its doors. And last year, the city of Chicago sold it for $1 to Insight, a hospital company based in Michigan, which is pledged to spend $50 million to save the institution, now called Insight Hospital and Medical Center Chicago. It's so exciting to see ambulances coming in again, but also to know that this is just the beginning of really a rebirth, I think, mm -hmm. of world class health care right in the Bronzeville community. Among those celebrating today, the protesters who helped keep the hospital open. It's surreal. I think we have to take a deep breath and pause and really reflect on the power of vision and the power of folks saying, not on our watch. In Bronzeville, Dane Placco, Fox 32 Chicago.